how to save your school in any other anime become idols how to save your school in blue archive hijack a bus full of students and then force them to sign a transfer form uh, or rob a bank. Yeah. Uh, wow. What a interesting way of word to save your school. But they did bring up the idol thing. I, I mentioned that, that they were going to bring up the idol thing. Or at least I was like talking about how this opens literally like a school idol festival type of show. But anyways, yes. Obviously, episode three. Really, really loved it. And we all know why. Mutsuki. My favorite girl, Mutsuki, shows up. And I loved every single minute of it. I got, I got her laugh. <laughs> her laugh is so good. <laughs> Her seiyuu and that laugh is, it's just so, it's so loud and just over the top, just mischievous that it just, it nails it. Like the, the face of the character, when I look at the character, I'm like, that character would laugh like this. And she totally does. I loved it. But yeah, additionally, with this episode, I came to really like Aru. And I, oh my, I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to get a ton of comments. <laughs> the last time I did a confession for Blue Archive, I got a lot of comments and I'm sure most of them were just jesting, but yeah, I think some of them were a little bit actually angry. But yeah, I've never cared for Aru. And it, 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 she kind of reminds me too much of like a edgy, like hello fellow kids English VTuber. That's what she feels like to me. She feels like that, 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 I don't know, cougar VTuber kind of thing. And so I'm like, I'd never really care. Not that I went out of my way to hate her or avoid her. It's just, I never, I just seen her and I was like, no not my thing. Just immediately, she's not my thing. I came to this game for cute anime girls. That's not what I came here for was, like I said, my mind goes to English VTuber thing. I know that's not what it's going for probably, and if you love her, that's fine. Point is, this episode made me really like her. <laughs> this is the first time that I've actually given her a shot, and I really like her character. And yeah, I guess it just goes immediately into that idea that she's overly serious. She's trying to get the job done. She's trying to be the boss. And she's so great and refined and she knows exactly what she's doing. But then she's in total screw up. That's what they're going for. They're going for the total screw up over serious person. And I love that the entire group around her plays off of it. They they make fun of her for it. And and it's like a totally, it's like... It's the obvious joke. Like it is, it's out there. Nobody's nobody's being fooled by this whole scenario. <laughs> Maybe Haruka. <laughs> Maybe Haruka. I love towards the end of before I forget, I love towards the end where Aru is introducing all of her people. And then suddenly cuts over to Haruka, and I'm assuming she was waiting for her, her introduction. So she's like I, I, she could have just been waiting like she's just like an awe inspired by Aru, but it almost felt like she was waiting for her introduction. She totally didn't get it, which I feel bad for her. <laughs> But yeah, it was a really good episode. Like I said, I I love how much they made me really like Aru. Didn't really change my perspective of Kay Kayako. Kayako looks cute, but I, I just kind of shrug with her kind of presence. Uh, Haruka, I've always found her to be extremely cute. She's the overly timid one that should never carry the weapon that she's carrying. <laughs> I, I actually used her for quite a while, just her going around, just mowing things down with a with a shoddy. And it's like, this girl shouldn't be carrying this thing. She's like over like, oh crap, it's going off kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously again... The star of the show is Mitsuki. They they nailed her voicing and everything, her just mischievousness. I wish she had more shots in the episode, but honestly, I was surprised I was surprised how much of a presence she had in the episode. I didn't think they were actually going to give a full episode, well, most of an episode to them. Cuz all I the idea here is that it seemed like they're doing commissions. They're failing miserably at them. <laughs> Again, having that sense of Aru being like overconfident in what she did and planned and everything and then them going, "Yeah, the animals hurt, so we're not going to get any money out of it. And he has Mizuki over there sitting there just laughing about the whole situation. <laughs> and then, yes, them going to the ramen shop to get some really cheap food. They wanted one bowl. I thought that they were buying a single bowl to give to the dog or the, the cat or whatever they had. But no, it was literally Haruka like, hey, how much is for your cheapest item? <laughs> no, come on in here. Uh, Seneca's like literally like, come in here. There's plenty of chairs. No, if you want one bowl, that's fine. Oh, can we get multiple chopsticks? Oh, wait, you're all going to eat it? <laughs> It was like, for a minute there, I'm like, Seneca, those are like questions you don't ask. <laughs> but I mean, it did open the door to them coming in there. And yeah, the, the boss, literally, I knew the boss was going to make them a big bowl. We all knew the boss was going to make them a big bowl. Uh, but it was cute that the boss kind of puts it in the idea of, even though you're hurting for money, you still came here to my place. And you're still willing to pitch in for a meal. So it kind of just shows that respect and the idea of, even though you're hurting, you still came to me. I'm going to take care of you. And yeah, I mean, I would probably assume that most of that stuff is probably all mixed in together at a high value or a, 
I don't know. He could be hurting for money. I mean, it could be cost a lot of money for him to get goods there. So he could actually be losing money there. But there's a good chance that based on his ingredients, if he's doing his job right, it probably doesn't cost him much to make that bowl. But either way, he's doing it as what's the great thing about there is that if they're truthful in the idea that, you know, this is a rare thing, we we're hurting now. Yeah, technically, if you if you show him a good meal, they're willing to come back when they actually have money. That's a that's good. He's a good manager. Like he knows what he's doing. But it's it's obviously playing into the idea of him him being kind to the girls. Your students here, you're willing to pitch in for the food. Here, enjoy. So it was super cute. I, I loved it. So yeah. And then cut to the girls showing up, and I don't know. For some reason, people just randomly walking up to another person eating food. <laughs> It's like, why do you guys walk up to their food? Like, they they literally get a bowl in front of them, and everybody just kind of comes over and goes, hey, what's up, guys? It's like, what? We're eating here. What the? Who are you? <laughs> why did you walk up to strangers while they're eating? Uh, but yeah, it was just to kind of show this kind of personal versus their commission job, because, yeah, obviously, it looks like the problem solver's got a commission to take down Abydos. Now, this gets into sort of what they seemingly are slowly uncovering for this episode, and again, for fans of the mobile series or whatever other mediums you've read. I don't need to know the answer to this. I like speculating. But it seems to be implying that somebody is obviously after Abydos. Now, at first, it was giving an indication that it was just like this helmet group. The helmet group wanted their, their school because maybe the helmet group doesn't have a good base. I mean, they're out in the desert, so maybe they want a school. But no, it had the, the, the helmet group was coming after them. And then at the beginning of this episode, they indi they indicate that there's like they have illegal items like from the black market. They have weapons from the black market. So it obviously indicates that somebody's supplying them with something that they normally shouldn't have. And why do they have it? Somebody seems to want that place. They're like, we'll look into it. We maybe we can might be able to find somebody. We can find out who's they're working for to find out why they want that school. So obviously that sort of press into our school. That seems to be indicating that there's maybe something under the school, possibly. It seemed to be based on the very final shot of the episode. They showed the 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 flaming face looking guy that everybody's freaking out about that it was in the OP. So obviously a very important character, a uh, flamey face looking guy talking to a robot looking chunky guy that's behind a, a desk. And apparently their stats are incorrect and stats always change. So it seems like he's some sort of, I don't know, mathematician, calculator, tactician thing. So they obviously seem like they're after Abydos. And I think it's pushing towards the idea that there's something under the school. There's something there that they want. But I don't know why they can't just go in there and take it when they're out eating ramen. <laughs> it's like the place is left unguarded all the time. There's only six of them. Just go there <laughs> when they're not there. <laughs> they eat at the ramen place a lot. Just go there when they're not... They, they probably have some sort of alarm to let them know. I mean, they, they the alarm went off before, so... Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it or underthinking it is as to what it actually is. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, the the opening segment of this episode with them, though, was was fantastic. The the whole how to make money. I, I wasn't expecting them all to be on the same board. I, I guess that's why it's so funny. It's like, Nonomi states the obvious. Idols. Again, like I said before, the, the show literally opens up like a school idol show. Our school is being closed. How can we save it? Let's make an idol school and join the school idol project. And then they go to the school idol festival thingy and then they 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 succeed and then more students want to come to the school and the school saved. So it was like, okay, no, no, me say, says what basically everybody's thinking. <laughs> and then Serica is literally like wanting to sell fraudulent bracelets. Now, granted, Serica wasn't saying it as if she knew it. She wasn't aware. So she was basically, let's let's sell these things. Ah, crap, I fell for it, or, like, I bought, like, two of them. So she was, she was fooled. So it's not like she wanted to do something criminal, but in actuality, she's doing something criminal. <laughs> but then, yeah, he jumps over to Hoshino, and she's like, let's hijack a bus. And then Shiroko's like, oh, yeah, let's rob a bank. <laughs> it's like, what are these girls? <laughs> like, who raised these kids? Uh, it, it's funny. It's like, I, I guess technically, yeah, it would solve their problem. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it does. that doesn't shock me, but... Yeah, that all culminates to the final segment. Ara completely didn't know that they were Abydos, and then they mentioned to her that they're Abydos, and then she's like, crap, I just enjoyed ramen with them, and now I gotta go beat them up. And she's all conflicted. I, I, I thought that was kind of funny. But no, they, they have the showdown. They come there, they attack, obviously. Abydos is like, hey, you guys enjoyed ramen with us. What are you doing now? And they're like, hey, a job's a job. It was funny because it like said something like, I think it was Mutsuki said something like, uh, that was that and this is this in Japanese. And it translated it something like, that's a different horse. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that term before. Who, so whoever who translated is like, I, I don't know. That's a term I've never heard before. But yeah, they battle it out. I totally thought that like mid fight when they were all pinned down at some point, some chime was going to go off and they're just going to suddenly stop and drop their guns and walk away because the the extras were all paid like poorly. So they're like, we're not going to do any overtime. But no, they did it later on after Abidos takes them down, which, yes, includes Hoshino charging them and them all rushing it and everything. So it was it was cute. And like I said, having Mitsuki do her usual call for her ultimate chucking out there. It was it was super cute. But yeah, overall. Really fun little episode. Like I said, any episode with Mitsugi and it's going to be literally up there for me. Ho hopefully they keep kind of like, maybe they turn into like Team Rocket where they attack like every now and then just keep coming back and attacking and we get more Mitsuki. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment, let me know what's the episode. Additionally, if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button to get my content. I do news reviews, first impressions, top list if it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you like this content and you want to support the channel more, I have Patreon link, tips, links, everything's membership button down below. Greatly appreciate it, it does. And y'all take care.